Good morning and welcome to the Cleveland County Library. I'm Miss Pat and I'm so excited to get to take part in this uh, reading adventure that you are on. We are going to be reading from the one and only Ivan by Katherine Applegate. If you want to read along, I'm starting at page 188, Imagining. It's different now when I paint. I'm not painting what I see in front of me, a banana, an apple. I'm painting what I see in my head, things that don't exist, at least not yet. I pull out not tag stuffing. Carefully, I fill her with my paintings, hiding them so Mac won't sell them. She's large, bigger than Bob, but I still have to crumple a few of them. Bob tries to settle on her for a nap. You've killed her, he complains. I had to, I say. I miss your stomach, Bob admits. It's so spacious. When Julia arrives, she notices that I've used up my paints and paper. Wow, Julia shakes her head. You are one serious artist, Ivan. My finger painting has sold for $40 with frame. Mac is happy. He brings me a huge pile of paper and big buckets of paint. Get to work, he says. I paint for Mac during the day and for Ruby at night. I nap when I can. But my nighttime picture isn't quite right. It's big, that's for sure. When I place all the pieces on the floor of my cage side by side, the cement is almost completely covered, but something is still missing. Bob says I'm crazy. There's Ruby, he says, pointing with his nose. There's a zoo, there are other elephants. What's wrong with it? It needs one more thing, I say. Bob groans. Oh, you're a temperamental artist. What could be missing? I stare at the huge expanse of colors and shapes. I don't know how to explain to Bob that it isn't done yet. I'll just have to wait, I say at last. Something will come to me and then I'll know my painting is finally ready. During the last show of the day, Ruby seems tired. When she stumbles, Mac reaches for the claw stick. I tense, waiting for her to strike back. Ruby doesn't even flinch. She just keeps plodding along, and after a while, Snickers jumps onto her back. I lie in my cage with Bob on my stomach. We are watching Julia do her homework. She doesn't seem to be enjoying it. I can tell because she is sighing more than usual. Again, for the hundredth time, or maybe the thousandth, I wonder what is missing from my painting. And for the hundredth time, or maybe the thousandth, I don't have an answer. Dad, Julia says as George passes by with a mop, can I ask you a question? May I, George corrects, ask away. Julia glances down at a piece of paper. What's the difference between the words spelled P-R-I-N-C-I-P-A-L and the ones spelled P-R-I-N-C-I-P-L-E? The first one is the head of a school like Ms. Garcia. The second one is a belief that helps you know what's right or wrong. He smiles. For example, it's against my principles to do my daughter's homework for her. Julia groans. If I'm going to be an artist when I grow up, why do I need to know how to spell? With a laugh, George heads off. Poor Julia, I think. Gorillas get by just fine without learning how to spell. All those endless letters, those sticks and circles and zigzags, filling up books and magazines, billboards and candy wrappers. 
words. Humans love their words. I leap up. Bob goes flying straight into my pool. You know how I feel about wet feet, Bob yells. He scrambles out of the water, shaking each foot in dismay. I look out my window at the billboard. I can still hear Mac's voice in my head. Come to the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade, home of the one and only Ivan, Mighty Silverback. I count to 12, and then I count again, just to be sure. I lay out 16 pieces of poster board, four down, four across, a perfect square. What are you up to, Bob demands. I'm guessing it doesn't involve sleep. It has to do with the billboard. That sign's a monstrosity, particularly since I'm not featured. I grab my bucket of red paint. You're not on the billboard because you're not in the show, I point out. Technically, I don't even live here, Bob says with a sniff. I am homeless by choice. I know, I'm just saying. I study the billboard. Then I make two fat lines, like broom handles. Another fat line connects them. I stand back. What do you think? What is it? Oh, wait, let me guess. A ladder? Not a ladder, I say. A letter. At least I think that's what they're called. I have to make three more. Bob cuddles up next to Knot Tag. Why? He asks, yawning because then I'll have a word, a very important word. I dip my fingers into the paint. What word? Bob asks. Home. Bob closes his eyes. That's not so important, he says quietly. All day long, I knuckle walk circles around my cage. I'm so nervous I can't nap. I can't even eat. Well, not very much anyway. I'm ready to show Julia what I've made. It has to be Julia. She's an artist. Surely she'll look, truly look at my painting. She won't notice the smudges and tears. She won't care if the pieces don't quite fit together. She'll see past all of that. Surely Julia will see what I've imagined. I watch Ruby trudge sullenly through the four o'clock show, and I wonder what will happen if I fail. What if I can't make Julia understand? But of course I know the answer. Nothing, nothing will happen. Ruby will remain the main attraction at the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade, conveniently located off I-95, with shows at two, four, and seven. 365 days a year, year after year after year.